So before I go ahead, I don't really do this enough. I'm uh, taking my pre-workout, which is the pre. A lot of you guys ask me on Instagram, which pre-workout do you use or do I use pre-workout? And yes, I do actually, Monday to Friday, I use pre-workout. Today we're training midday, but usually in the morning, I have one scoop, which is right about now. I have about one scoop of the pre-workout plus for my protein. Unfortunately, my discount, my discount code does not work with this product, as is the pro range. However, that's my option, purely because the ingredients are very transparent and I know exactly what I'm getting and um, yeah I've been using it for years now so I'm pretty confident with it it works for me it doesn't give you a big crush it doesn't give you anything other than what you need which is awesome again in terms of uh, maintaining that cognitive focus this gets the job done anyways guys less of that plug more towards the training and the function so get focused already video I spoke about a small minor injury so we're very cautious of that so we're taking everything with ease and control so yeah guys I'll be taking from a workout show you how I rehabilitate and nurture this kind of situation because uh again you just don't talk about again how you do it is important so stay tuned enjoy the workout so I'm cool to check it in hope you enjoy the video isolation movements to build that inner chest so as you've seen I did, I did three compound movements to build the chest I highly recommend you guys implement these exercises to build the foundation so that's flat incline decline is completely optional but I, again I do believe in the concept of covering all angles to contribute to a full and complete chest so in terms of repetitions if you're new to the channel it should be pretty obvious right now 8 to 12 repetitions for me that's the ideal rep range to build size strength and condition the muscle you want to say from that perspective again four sets it's more than optimal so after those three compound lifts we move on to uh low fly so a low fly again with the upper chest isolation movement for the chest and then move on to a cable press and then now we're going to move on to the machine to completely annihilate the chest and wrap it up. But today, what we're gonna do is finish off with some triceps. Again, you should know your anatomy. 
So triceps are secondary muscle group when it comes to training chest, shoulders, or any pushing movement. So again, you'll benefit from this workout if or any other workout that includes a pushing movement, if you finish up with triceps, if your triceps are lagging. So guys, that's pretty much it. If you've got a question, see me in the comment section. So just, bye. Kilograms, which is 110 pounds, the chest press, four sets, three sets, uh, 10 reps, which is not too bad. So, the goal again, quick chest workout of the 60s. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the workout. If you've got any questions, feel free to ask. That's the whole point. I hope you learned a thing or two. If you do, make sure to give the video a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, make sure to smash that subscribe. And guys, it's your boy checking out.